Hello everybody, my name is Uchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, my hard mode playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, I just finished updating my engine for adventure games, so we're just going to dive into it here and make a new adventure game. Ooh, do we want to make a new adventure game, or do we want to make a sequel? 35 pipe if we do Battleship Wars. That's not bad. Exhibition quest only five pipe. That's not really worth it. Twenty five pipe request for the Grail. Battleship Wars two. I don't think pirates fits though. <laughs> well, pirates does fit for an adventure game. So let's go with that. We'll go B plus in size. We want a subgenre or subtopic. What would fit here? We may not have anything that really fits. No, I don't think anything really fits. So let's just go with that. Battle Wars 2 it is. Make for adults, B plus. Subgenre. Nah. So we got the adventure engine up to date. 51 million, 26 million, 21 million. Oh, 13.8. But yeah, that's the one we, we've been avoiding. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to continue to avoid it. So we got, those are decent, but they're not as good as what we have. So we'll just keep making stuff for that. But we're still getting experience in those. So that's going to hurt us a bit. All right. We know all that. We know a few of these are correct. So let's take a look at some letters here. Story was not exciting. Too much for core. Better character design. Too much for core? Oh, so why did we why did we slide it that way? Alright, so let's try sliding it this way, I guess. And I think it's one of both of these to go up. So let's put both of those down, I guess. Some, something has to go down to <laughs> to compensate. And we will turn everything on. Everything relevant, that is, which isn't much. There's a lot of things that aren't relevant to an adventure game. But that's fine. We got 35 pipe coming right out of the gate, which is nice. We will improve the gameplay. Improve the graphics. Our sound team is currently in training. But we will queue up uh, the sound improvements. They work pretty quickly. So once they're done in training, we'll just slide them out and everything should be fine. Research team is currently researching A-sized games. Not that we're at the point where we need that right now, but got to keep them busy, right? Don't want them uh, being idle. Oh yeah, and only three people are actually... Only three of my sound people are actually benefiting from that training. So let's hire one more person just to help get through this training faster, if nothing else. And then they'll fly through these with all, especially with six of them now. All right, where's my cleaning robot? Oh, he's on his way. He's on his way, folks. Don't worry. That little apple with a bite out of its symbol means uh, there's a mess. All right, so we are really waiting for the sound people. I probably should have pulled them out of training earlier. Actually, you know what I should do? So what I should have done all along is these two people that aren't actually benefiting from the training, I should have just put them over here and got them to start on the uh, actual sound improvement. That's that's a mistake by me. I, I should have done that right from the start. But lesson learned. Hopefully everybody learned the lesson from my mistake there. Makes me feel much better about my mistake. Battleship Wars, Pet Warriors, Warriors of the Looch. All three of these games have war <laughs> in their title. Hmm. Why is that? All right, so customer support is completely caught up. So let's uh, let's do a fan campaign. Let's just do a studio tour. Nothing too serious. I'm kind of skimping on money right now, right? I, I kind of, I'm kind of saving up. I want to research uh, production soon. It's two and a half million. So I'm going to need some money for that. 
All right, so a size games are done. Let's grab platformers as honor, even though it's uh, it's not in the trend. It's one of the least popular genres right now, but eventually we're going to want to make a platform. So let's kick this out. Adventure, max strength of four. Well, there's a few different options here. Let's yeah, let's go with this one, the first one that we looked at. Max strength of four with a payment of six is a nice, you know, happy medium. I expect this to be pretty well rated. Oh yeah, 87, beautiful. All right, so let's do an update for Warriors of the Looch and then probably an update for Battle, uh, Battleship Wars 2 as well. Do a game report. Let's see if there is any commission work here. There is not. What about here? There is. Perfect. Oh, so we might as well put them in training, I guess. We will just do the middle one. Oh, so we got modern 2D block graphics coming in. So as soon as they're done with that, we know what's coming next. Any commission work here? No. All right, so the Warriors of the Looch update is done. Do a quick update for Battle Sports 2. What we need is we need a second development room so we can have one team doing engine updates and game updates and the other team just constantly kicking out games so we can avoid this problem of having idle teams all the time. All right, so what do we, type of game do we want to make now? It's been a while since we made an RPG. That is supposed to be our bread and butter, right? How popular is RPG right now? Not very. Do a puzzle game. It's been a while since we done a did a puzzle game. Yeah, I think let's do a puzzle game. Let's do a sequel to uh, Puzzle Mania. Well, let's update our engine first. I could wait for them to be done, but I'm not going to. Because they're a three-person team and they're pretty slow. Because, like I said, there is better graphics that I could research but not gonna happen not gonna happen right now i mean it's gonna happen eventually <laughs> don't get me wrong right now though we're just gonna bang out another game got to keep the money coming in right we got to keep making games so we can keep making money it has to be our priority right now as much as i would have loved ah, like i have kind of set aside this space for producing my own games but god i want to I want to make a second dev room. I want to make a bigger research room. I want to... <laughs> all these things I want to do. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the right play. Waiting for self-production there. It might not be the right play. Honestly. Puzzle Mania 4. We're up to now. Definitely B+. I want to... Maybe slip in a second topic here. Nah. Nah. That's fine. It's fine as it is. And we will just put, put them out for these, uh, these four consoles again. Just to make sure. So, well, so the personal computer is now a thing. But there's no user base for it yet. But we are going to start making games for that very soon. Because, as I'm sure you noticed, know, tech level of 8. So, once we start making games for that, we will never, never stop. So, 7, 7, 4, 4, 2, 7, 6, 8, 0, 8. So, all, a lot of this is right, but not these three. So, I'm assuming... Better mission design. Okay. Let's do better mission design. But this is wrong, right? So we know. But I'm just going to leave it. For now. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to leave it. Because we know it's not right. So why leave it, right? If we know it's not right. Enable everything that's relevant. Got 50 hype coming right out of the gate. Because it's a sequel. Which is nice, obviously. And 
graphics team is currently in training, but they will be done very, very soon. In this space, I have set aside for marketing. Or you know what? I'm actually going to build a second bathroom here because I don't know if you noticed what happened. Is that one of these people wanted to go to the bathroom, but I think because both of them were occupied, he uh, or she literally... Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can figure out what that puddle is. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. Anyway. <laughs> so now the people that are in this building have a bath. Actually, you know what? Let's put the door down here. How many toilets can we fit in here? Three. I was hoping to get a fourth, but because of the weird shape, it kind of is what it is. Some heaters in here. We don't want people to be cold while they're, you know, using the bathroom. Trash can. Ah, we can throw a medicine cabinet on the wall here. Where's the hand dryer? A couple hand dryers. Beautiful. Plant. Man in the bathroom. Of course. We're high class here. We have plants in our bathrooms. Oh, oh, it's painting. And, and paintings on the wall in our bathrooms. <laughs> I forgot that this painting was on the outer wall here. Painting robot, go do your thing. Should probably move these people into their proper room. Too worried about the puddle on the floor. It did kind of throw me off, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think... I'm just rethinking my strategy, and I don't think... I really don't think I can afford to wait. Or I, I don't think I can afford to make... Uh... Alright. Words are hard. My plan was to make this this space into my self-production but I feel like I need other things for this space right now I think I might have to wait and do self-production down here this is how I'm leaning right now I need a bigger research team and I need a second dev room I probably should get a, a bigger uh, lounge as well in here we're covered for, for, for toilets now right Yeah. So yeah. So if I get a, if, so if I build a research room, say like here, I can destroy this one and then make the QA room bigger. So the QA will be covered for a while. Is what I'm leaning towards. So let's do that. This room's going to be bigger than it needs to be, arguably right now, but that's fine. Can I fit eight in here without them being cramped? I know physically I can fit eight easily. I think it should be fine. Is that going to be enough heating? Yeah, that works. Uh, what else do we need? Water dispenser. Plant in here. graphics you know I probably should put one of the best graphics in the graphics room so they can enjoy the fruit of their labors right oh looks like we need a plant or a painting on this on this wall just to make it uh, make it nice there all right so let's grab our well See if there's any more researchers out there. Only one, and they're unlucky, but that's okay. So they're going to start on the engine feature. As soon as they're done with that research, we'll move them down. 
and we will check the people periodically and fill this room up. Well, probably don't need eight right now, but we definitely need more than three. This is just going way too slow. Way too slow. So they're they're pub uh, they're polishing here. They're not polishing there yet. They're almost done, so they'll be polishing here. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna take these fine folks and train them. It's been a while since they've had training. So we'll just do the medium one, though. We don't want it to be all day. So they're working on the last thing. So as soon as they're done, we'll ship it out. And the research team is almost done. So let's grab them. Put them down here. No new researchers yet, but I'm sure they'll come in soon. Oh, best graphics and best... Oh, Warriors of the Looch. Man. Best graphics and best sound, but not game of the year. That's a little disappointing, to be honest. <laughs> All right, so we can get rid of this room. And like I said, this room we can make bigger now. Like that. This allows us to put a couple extra desks in. So how many do we have in here now? Ten? Ten. That, that'll be big enough. Oh, so we're now an established scheme studio. So now, <laughs> now I kind of regret my decision because now I, I feel like that's big enough that I could be self-publishing. You know, I probably could. I probably could self-publish here. But, but. I want the second dev room in here, right? And I'm thinking maybe a little lounge right here and then the rest of it, a nice big dev room. That's what I'm thinking. But let's just get this game out right now. Those are some pretty high scores. Not so much in graphics, what went wrong with the graphics team? Oh, I guess the sound is so high because they were polishing for a while because we were waiting for the graphics team, right? All right, so puzzle. Is the only puzzle one? No. We don't have a relationship with either of them. We do have a relationship with them. And seven dollars for a four market strength is pretty good. Nice. First ninety percent. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's do an update for so let's do an update for all three games. Starting with Warriors of the Looch. We'll work our way down. Any commission work here? Yep. Any commission work here? No. So they're going to be idle. All right, researchers are done. So let's do these two gameplay features. Get these done and ready to go before the next uh, before the next game we make. No new researchers again. Do we have any? No. I was going to say I was looking for uh, legendary developers, but there was none, unfortunately. I'm actually going to hire one extra game tester if there's any out there. So we have one. They're unlucky. They never have critical work results. But nature lovers can be good because they just uh, they don't go on break. Instead of going on break, they'll just go over to the plant and water it, basically. 46 is a pretty decent score for a, for somebody off the street. So yeah. Unlucky is unfortunate, but we can deal with that. All right, so Warriors of the Looch update is done. Battleship Wars 2 update coming in, and then we'll do the Puzzle Mania update. And then we will all look at all the research coming in. See, this is why we wanted the bigger research room. So let's check again. Hopefully there's next. Like, we don't need all eight of these decks filled, but I would like at least six people in the research room right now. But yeah, I'm going to need a bigger dev room. This is going to be the last. I'm going to make one more game in this room, and then the bigger dev room is going to get made. That's the plan. All right, so they're done training. So let's grab them up. And they got a game report to do here. Let's move them into training, but of course, those two can stay because they get nothing out of training. 
And then we'll just do the middle one for the other four. Puzzle game. Ooh, puzzle game. That's nice because we're currently working on a puzzle game. Any commission work here? No. So yeah, we're playing the waiting game here pretty hard. Because we don't have a second dev room. And maybe I should just build it now. Right? Maybe I should. Alright, so what kind of game are we doing? Should we do... Well, let's check the trend and see what else is reasonably popular other than puzzle. We just did a puzzle, so we're not doing a puzzle. Simulation and sports. Which we can't even do. Ugh. I guess we'll do a role-playing game. I know it's not very popular, but could be worse. We are kind of a role-playing game company, right? So... It'll be fine. It'll still sell. Right? It's not like it's not going to sell. So we got... Yeah, we got four new things. We got a new thing in each category. People want it, they're going to pay. <laughs> and this is so new. And let's actually look at the platform. We haven't been looking here. Air tech. Yeah, I guess. That makes sense. So once this is done, we'll make a, make a new RPG. Actually, we'll make a sequel. Probably not a new one. Alright, so they're done with that. So let's get these genres. Because these are relatively popular right now. Let's see if we can get at least one of them made. So we're up to 5 million in the bank right now. So I should, um, yeah, so this is going to be the last game made in this development room. Well, this will be my backup development room still, right? So I'm going to have one bigger room, and this will be, the this, this smaller room, for now at least, will be for, uh, for my team that just does engines and updates, basically, is the plan. So let's do a sequel. Uh, Second Fantasy Super RPG 2. Let's go third fantasy. B plus. Any cool subtopics we could do? Like barbarians, maybe? Sure. Uh, do we want a license? No. We don't need a license. Oh, there's not... Uh... One of those big platforms came off the market. Or big consoles. So what do we got here? 17.6. But this is the one we've been avoiding. I'm going to continue to avoid it. Because <laughs> I'm stubborn. So 12.2. I want to make for personal computer. But. There's no market share yet. If it even had a shred of market share, I would probably consider doing it. But it doesn't. There's no market share whatsoever, so I'm not going to do it. 85028854. There. Perfect. So this is the only one we don't know, so let's just move it up that way. Because I'm sure the last letter will say it was too easy. So yeah, so we got uh, 10 of the 11 sliders locked in. We got one more. And it's going to it's close. And they're getting close-ish. <laughs> 17 to 20, that's a lot. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them are green. Nice. This is going to be good. This is going to be a 90% game. I'm, I'm, I have faith. 90% review, meaning... I mean, we just had one. It's not like, you know, it's not like that's groundbreaking, but it'll be nice. It sure will be nice. So how much is this room? 8.7. Yeah, this room will... Part of the reason why I also I want to not do production here is the these three 
buildings are also kind of close together. So like if I put an extra lounge here, you know, people can get, even if there's not a bathroom in their building, there's a bathroom here, there's a bathroom here, right? There's no lounge here, but there's going to be a lounge here, there's going to be a lounge here, right? Whereas if I put stuff down here, this door is really only close to this one, and it's not even that close. So if I put nothing but, like, production and storage down here, then people never have to come down here, right? It's kind of my line of thought. Same thing with here. Like, these two are off to the side, but... You just need to put one lounge and one staff room or one lounge and one toilet between the two and they're fine. And this one kind of also is in this, uh, you know, part of the map. So yeah, so that's why I'm, that's why I'm waiting to do self-production until we get down there. Personally, that's part of the reason. Obviously not the full reason. The full reason is we want the bigger development room and more importantly, the second development room, right? Because we don't even need a bigger development room yet, really. Like, they're keeping up. These seven people can keep up, mostly with the other teams. Oh, great. <laughs> so we are not going to be buying this anytime soon. That's fine. I mean, it's not, it's not fine, but we'll manage. Wow, that's a lot of bugs. QA team's going to have their work cut out for them. Still no researchers. Game tester, they're unlucky. They're talented. I don't know, I feel like I have a lot of unlucky people <laughs> in my company. Warriors of the Loot, 3 million in sales. I'll take it. Research is kind of doing sports games. All right, so they're squashing bugs now. They're polishing. They're, well, they still have two things, but that's because uh, two-thirds of them were in training for a lot of it. So we will continue development. That already is three stars, though. So, yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be very well reviewed, I would think. Like, over 90. I'll be pretty surprised if it's not over 90. But, yeah, I mean, I've been surprised before. So you never know. Oh, okay. We're going to hire this QA person because they're lucky. Got to counteract all that bad luck we have. <laughs> New researcher, please. Really? Really with the no researchers? All right, so we're bug free. They're polishing. They're polishing. Just waiting for the sound team here. Let's just go with the large booth. Get some little extra hype for third fantasy. It's already got quite a bit of hype as since it's a sequel. We're just going to wait for them to be done, and they're done. So let's ship this. I'll be very disappointed that this isn't 90 plus percent <laughs> reviewed. Pretty much everybody wants to make it. That's usually a good sign. Does nobody have a fan base for role playing games, though? What happened to um, Sunwork? Oh, they switched to strategy. Now, I do like that combination of market strength and payment, though. Maybe we gotta do strategy. <laughs> so we'll do sun work. Plus, now we have a five-star relationship with them. Alright. 90 plus percent, please. Oh, yeah. 92. See? I knew it. I knew it. So we know how that's gonna sell. Quite well. So... That's going to be all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one where I start building my second development room. Should be good. All right. Peace.